So this week in our DIY barbecuing series, we're going to be covering some vegetarian specialties, veggie burgers and potato salad. This week on Working Class Foodies. For a very long time, I was a vegetarian, which means that I've had my share of veggie burgers, both good and bad. Luckily, Brendan's been working on his recipe for veggie burgers for years, so he's really perfected it. I'm going to show you a recipe for veggie burgers that's simple, healthy, and absolutely delicious. We uh, cooked off about half a cup of brown rice, and we cleaned off a can of black beans. Just kind of mixed them up in a bowl by hand. You can also do fresh beans if you got them. Go for it. The veggie burgers, what I like to do is actually cook down the vegetables. Whatever takes the longest, you want to get in first. Otherwise, you're going to end up with like really raw carrots and cooked down shallots and kind of mushy. We got the um, pan in the oven at 400, got that nice and hot. Cut up some carrots nice and small. Some people like to shred them. A little salt and olive oil, threw those in the oven. While those are going, we just cut up some shallots, some spring garlic, and uh, some jalapenos. If you're not someone who really wants that much heat, you can take like a butter knife or something, and it'll take all that stuff right out. Got those together with a little salt and olive oil and then put those in on top. Mix them. So on the end, we finished it with corn. All the really good sugar in the corn and stuff is actually really close to the cob. You take the back of the knife and just push down and you get this really nice, sweet kind of puree. And mushrooms. I like the mushrooms because they add a little earthiness to it. They give it a little bit more texture as well. And some fresh herbs. We did rosemary and thyme. A little bit of salt, olive oil, get those in the oven. And just let them all cook until everything just kind of feels soft. After the vegetables cooled down, we incorporated everything together in a bowl by hand. If you're not hardcore vegetarian, you can put an egg in there, that will always help bind it. But we just did some of our homemade mustard and ketchup, and we added some breadcrumbs too. So just kind of mixed them up until they started to stick. Everything in there is already cooked. Everything's ready to go. You can eat it, you know, cold and everything if you wanted to, but you just want to be able to get a nice sear, a nice crisp on the outside and get the inside warm. Just frying them in a pan, but you know, you get a little olive oil in the pan so it gets a nice sear and gets crispy on the outside. You just get three or four of them, don't crowd your pan. And just get them nice and seared on one side, turn them over and let them go, you know, both on a medium low heat. They should hold together fairly well, but on the grill, they might break down just from the dry heat and the intensity, so, and they can burn pretty fast. If I do cook them on the grill, I either move them to a really, like, low heat, or I like putting them on, like, a hot plate or a pan. And you can get that smoky flavor out of it. Potato salads are pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure that your potatoes are cooked, boiled off in salty water. I like making sure that the water is really salty, like almost like seawater, so you don't have to keep reseasoning. You can just kind of let that salt get in there. And then you chopped up some uh, spring garlic. Then we used um, some of our mayonnaise and our mustard, which is pretty spicy, so that kicked in really nice. A little salt and pepper. And we finished it off with some chives. And that will hold really nicely. That will hold for a while as well. So, And you can, again, add as much mayonnaise and mustard as you like. If you don't want to use that stuff, it's also really good with just a little bit of mustard and olive oil. Putting them on the, the fresh baked bread is awesome. You can eat them straight as well. What I love about these veggie burgers is that they're totally adaptable. Don't like mushrooms? Don't use mushrooms. Don't like corn? Don't use corn. Prefer white rice? Use white rice. Want to spice them up a little bit? Add some Tabasco sauce to the mix. I recommend eating them with bacon and avocado and all that. It's really good and cheese. So it kind of defeats the purpose of the 
veggie burger, but it's well worth it for anyone there who is not a vegetarian. Now the potato salad was amazing too. And if you're a vegan, all you have to do is instead of using mayonnaise, use a little olive oil and add a little extra mustard. There you go. So the total cost for our veggie burgers and our potato salad came to $15.89 for six servings, which comes down to $2.65 per serving. So now it's your turn. If you've got a veggie burger recipe or a really fantastic potato salad recipe you want to share with us, let us know. Or if you have another backyard vegetarian barbecuing specialty, share it with us. We'd love to see what you have to offer. And if you're a vegetarian, let us know what you're going to be grilling at your next barbecue. And we'll see you next week on Working Class Foodies.